Yo tengo mucha fe que antes, muchas generaciones antes, uno de mis abuelas rezó, hizo unos rezos y ofrendas, ofrendas para el futuro, porque ellos sufrieron tanto, tanto, que no podían ser apache, porque todo el mundo quería matar apache. My name is Lucille Contreras and I'm the CEO and founder of Texas Tribal Buffalo Project here in Welder, Texas. This is the first time in hundreds of years that Lee Pan Apache and Southern Plains Bison have been right here on this land. Lee Pan Apache have lost land, culture, language, as well as kinship with each other. And so as part of that, I believe that we've suffered a lot of generational trauma. I know by being around Buffalo personally, it has helped me in my life. It's helped me and my children be stronger, have more fortitude, be healthier in our minds, body, and spirit. And so I want to allow that, afford that opportunity to others. <laughs> Mi nombre es uh, Richard González, o Ricardo González. Uh, vivo en Brackettville, uh, Texas. Uh, somos uh, Lipan Apaches de aquí de Texas, de la banda de, de Texas. Bringing uh, Buffalo back to where they were from is just like bringing us, our families, back to where we were from. To acknowledge that they, they actually lived here. There's people in Texas today that never knew that there were ever Buffalo in Texas. Just like they didn't know there were Apaches here. All these different things, these symbols on these teepees, all these things are important because they remind us who we are, but also reminds other folks that we're still here. And uh, we're not living back in 1700 or 1400 or 1800. We're living today, and, but we've not forgotten where we come from. I grew up in San Antonio in the, in the hood or whatever. I, you know, went to inner city high school, but my dream my whole life was to get out into the country. Indeed, I love it. <laughs> I graduated in 1992 from the University of Colorado in Boulder. And ever since I graduated, I have been in IT. Being a Native American woman in a white male dominated industry in IT, it that has a lot of challenges and I had kind of like had my fill of that. I don't know. Then as life happens and things in life happen, I ended up the last six years in Porcupine, South Dakota. Uh, where I moved, there was horses and buffalo and a garden that I planted that was 40 by 60. And so I got to really practice a lot of what I had been studying for years on my own. Even though I was in IT, I still never let go of the dream of agriculture. Being able to learn the culture of handling or really not handling, but 
caretaking for Buffalo as relatives. That really happened for me in South Dakota with Knife Chief Buffalo Nation Society. That experience was so invaluable to be able to learn from the Lakota Nation, which holds so strongly the Buffalo Nation teachings. And I feel like if it wasn't for the Lakotas, I probably, I don't think I've been, I would have been able to do what I'm doing today and bringing back to the Lee Pan Apache Buffalo Nation, our relationship with the Buffalo in this way. It's a bit cold, huh? So we don't live on a reservation. We bought our land with the USDA beginning farmer and rancher loan. So I'm really, really thankful to the USDA. I'm gonna take the whole bag now and just put some cake in there. I'm, just some cake in here. I'm so happy. I just yesterday made my full one year payment of $22,000. So we're set, man. At least this year is like <laughs> covered. And my payment's not even due till March. And that's because of the Tonka Fund. And other grants honor the earth. 